Launch day server woes disappearing, character faces, scripting errors, we've seen it all at this point. But what if some of these things were intentional? What if the developers planned for you to be somewhere it felt like you shouldn't be? Some of the coolest boundary break secrets, sequence breaking reveals, and everything in between come from that sweet spot where you're about to dismantle everything until you get rewarded for it. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are 9 developers who knew you'd break their game. Number 9. CD Projekt Red A secret developer photo. The Witcher 3 CDPR's absolute masterpiece, The Witcher 3, is a gargantuan effort that just keeps on giving. To this day, people are still uncovering cool quests and unlocks or callbacks to previous entries in the series. However, one of the coolest inclusions that's actually impossible to find without using some modding tools is a single canvas image of the entire dev team, tucked away high in the mountains. Not just any mountains either, but those of the Immaculate Blood and Wine DLC, an entire additional Kingdom of Quest lines that was released in 2016. To see it yourself, first you need to be on PC and have downloaded one of the many free camera mods that lets you detach and go scouring around the Toussaint countryside. Teleport Geralt out of bounds, use your Witcher vision to uncover the exact spot, and finally you've seen Witcher 3's most well-hidden secret. Number 8. Sega. Secret Credits. Sonic the Hedgehog. Speaking of well-hidden secrets, the original Sonic the Hedgehog had a really cool environmentalist message that went largely unknown for decades. Revealed in a 2010 interview by creator Yuji Naka, it just wasn't the done thing to be espousing these sorts of thoughts when developing a video game in Japan across the early 90s. Noting that this was why you were freeing animals from a robotnik using pollution and creating machinery which desecrates the environment, Sega were also adamant that Sonic be made by Sega as a collective, and refused to give the team a credit sequence to show their own names. Not ones to be beaten by such a bizarre rule, Naka coded the game to actively hide the team's credits, only unlockable by using a specific button code on an otherwise black screen. Do so and the colours invert, revealing the people really responsible for bringing you one of gaming's most iconic mascots, adding to the idea that there's way more to Sonic overall than you might think. Number 7. Naughty Dog – Ludonarrative Dissonance in Uncharted 4 for the longest time, there's been criticism of Nathan Drake's approach, let's say to wanton bloodshed and the pile of bodies he leaves in his wake. Though personally, I just liken his antics to something like the A-Team or literally any action hero whose authors don't acknowledge the horrors of killing en masse, many players and critics say the fact that Nate remains thoroughly chirpy throughout does break the experience. By the time Uncharted 4 came around and Nate's story was presented more grounded than ever, Naughty Dog chose to steer directly into this criticism, creating a trophy called Ludonarrative Dissonance that triggers for everyone over the course of the game. Tied to killing 1,000 enemies, something you'll likely have done before the halfway mark, this term was created by veteran developer Clint Hocking, and references the specific thematic disconnect between how someone is presented in cutscenes versus that of gameplay. Naughty Dog are almost saying that just by playing Uncharted the way they designed it, breaks it at the same time. Number 6. Rockstar – The Boundary Break Sign in Grand Theft Auto 3 A legendary boundary break acknowledgement, and ironically one of the only things the definitive edition of GTA 3 actually got right, Rockstar knew we'd be combing every inch of their revolutionary open world back in 2001 and decided to reward you in tow. Fairly easy to find after the Kingdom Come mission, just park a van next to the wall, hop over and you'll be greeted with a graphic that says you weren't supposed to be able to get here, you know? Likely something the team discovered after all that initial modelling work was done, in the PSP spin-off Liberty City Stories, go here and the sign now reads hello again. The PlayStation 2 upscale of the same game changed it again to you just can't get enough of this alley, can you? For the definitive edition, thanks to an AI algorithm largely upscaling GTA 3 automatically, it left 2021's version to go back to the original. Number 5. Arcane Studios You really should leave. Dishonored. Arcane Studios are one of our most treasured developers, releasing genuinely creative, innovative and artist-first titles like Prey and Deathloop. However, arguably their finest effort is the original Dishonored, a brilliantly sandboxy expansion of something like the Thief series, with a host of powers and options available to you across some awesomely intricate stealth missions. It's enough to make you feel like a badass steampunk assassin, which you are, unless you decide to play Corvo as more of a peeping Tom. Getting your opportunity back at base as character Callista goes off for a bath, you you can choose to first crouch and leer at her through the keyhole, or barge right in and offer your company. Surprisingly, Callista notes that she'd welcome your advances if not for all the rats and pestilence, but go one further and awkwardly mantle into the tub anyway and you'll trigger a unique game over. Yes, the entire rebellion has now failed due to, and I quote, irreconcilable hostilities. Number 4. Radical Entertainment Swimming too far, in Scarface the world is yours. 
Props to the game that finds any cool way to keep us on track. Literally the first thing players do when given any sizable chunk of world is try to see where the invisible barriers are. Then repeat jump and crowbar our way through the world geometry until we get stuck. In Scarface's case then, a genuinely great open world crime game with a legendary swear button and the idea that Tony just got back up at the end of the movie to retake his empire is all about respect. Filling a literal balls meter and wiping out the competition. It is not about running away from your problems or going for a swim, unless you're escaping a vehicle. Developers Radical need you to realize this, and in one of the best out of nowhere non-horror jump scares of all time, stay in any sizable body of water too long and a huge shark will appear below Tony and devour him in one bloody bite. Number 3. Nintendo Sequence break for a very cool boss kill. Metroid Dread. The return of home console Metroid was a glorious, glorious thing. Faster than ever movement, various aspects updated from Samus Returns on 3DS, Metroid Dread also deals heavily in fan service, showcasing a version of Samus across cutscenes that's every bit the Doom Guy precursor badass we always knew Samus was. With fans in mind then, Metroid is known for sequence breaking, acquiring key progression items out of order and accessing parts of the likes of Super Metroid way before you're supposed to, thereby clocking the game in a fraction of the time. For Metroid Dread, this quasi-feature returned, but with actual rewards tucked away if you broke the game in just the right way. One of many cool things to uncover is acquiring the Morph Ball bomb ability before fighting the hulking boss Kraid. If you have this technique on you, Samus can crouch towards the bottom left of the screen and fire herself straight into Kraid's stomach, destroying it from within in a phenomenal scene that doubles as an instant early win. Number 2. Bethesda. Blasts from the past. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Sometimes boundary breaks are like the GTA Definitive Edition and you actually wish there was something obscuring the fact that San Andreas from a distance looks like a Fortnite map, and other times developers put in the best easter eggs and references for those who'll make a point of venturing farther than anyone else. In Bethesda's case, that means capitalizing on your view. Should you climb the throat of the world mountain or otherwise get a look at what's outside the highest external hills of Skyrim itself? Far off in the distance, placed there by the team because Howard and co wanted you to be able to see into neighboring provinces from just the right spot is the Cyrodiil Imperial City, complete with its iconic tower and even a chunk of Morrowind in the other direction too. Brilliantly, you can actually escape the boundaries altogether and go for a walk around this hyper de rezzed version of Elder Scrolls 4 and 3, just don't expect any actual detail. And number 1, Capcom, the hidden developer, Resident Evil 4. Not discovered until 2017 thanks to just how random this is, YouTuber Slippy Slides realized that if you use Resident Evil 4's sniper rifle to zoom in to a specific distant building, you can find a seemingly random individual posing in a green jacket and scarf combo. Assumedly it's a member of the dev team or maybe a friend of someone who worked on the game. Many players have since detached the camera altogether and zoomed around this area, revealing the image to be a standout cutout of the person, though to this day a specific identity has never been nailed down. You can view this character yourself by zooming in with the scope after the helicopter crash scene, but good luck making any more sense of it than what you see right now. And those are just 9 developers who knew you'd break their game. Let me know your favourites down in the comments below and please subscribe to the What Culture Gaming Podcast. For now I've been Scott from WhatCulture.com and I'll catch you soon.